Welcome to the second video in the series on electrostatics. We're going to just have a look a bit of a revision about what we did in the last video. We discussed in the last video the law of conservation of charge. In this video uh, I'm going to now show you the application of this law. Now remember the law says that charge cannot be created nor destroyed but can only be transferred from one object to another object or it can uh, be separated, which we call polarized, within an object. So we're going to start off firstly with the transfer of charge. If you look at this animation over here, we've got a balloon which is neutral and a jersey which is neutral. In other words, the balloon is made up of positive and negative charges and they are equal. The jersey also has positive and negative charges which are equal. By friction, I'm now going to bring the jersey and rub it on uh, the balloon, sorry, onto the jersey and as I rub it, the negative charge is going to be transferred from the jersey to the balloon. The result is this. The jersey is now positively charged overall because it has a, a, a lack of uh, electrons. Electrons have been transferred from it to the balloon. The balloon now is negatively uh, charged because it has an excess, too much uh, electrons. So now, you'll notice that the jersey is attracted to the balloon because we learned in last week as well that uh, unlike charges attract, we'll investigate that a little bit later. Let's also have a look at the thing of polarization. The wall over here on the right hand side is neutral. It's got equal positive and negative as well. As I bring the jersey closer to the wall, you will notice that the negative charges are pushed away from the surface of the wall. And the reason for this is the negative balloon is repelling the negative charges within the wall away. The wall has now become polarized. So that's the law of conservation of charge. Charge cannot be created, it cannot be destroyed, but it can be transferred from one object to another or polarized within an object, all right? or in other words separated within that object.